What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to get sponsored. So quite a few people have actually asked me how to get sponsored and the weather wasn't super good today so I figured I'd take the time to step aside and film this video. Also this isn't really a how to, it's more of like a video that just has tips that could be helpful for getting sponsored. One other thing is that I'm not claiming to be an expert at getting sponsored whatsoever but I am sponsored by a few brands that do pay me and support me so I do think that I could maybe give you quite a few good tips that will help out. This video is directed for getting sponsored for wakeboarding but it definitely could help with skateboarding snowboarding BMX or whatever I think it could help with a, a lot of different things for getting sponsored so there are different levels of sponsorship it could be anything from maybe getting a discount on a product or maybe even getting that product for free or maybe even having like a company give you like a travel budget or just sort of some sort of budget to help you do the things you want to do and it, it could even go up so far as to where they pay you like a monthly salary whether you're getting discounts free product or even getting paid one thing that is really important to know is that to the brand you're gonna need to show them a positive return of investment they can't just be giving you free product and not getting anything back because then their company is essentially losing money so there are a ton of riders around the world that are absolutely killing it tons of them are doing 1080s double flips all sorts of insane tricks and on occasion you'll see some of these riders not have any sponsors whatsoever and even on occasion i'll notice that sometimes not always that they'll even complain because they notice that they're better than some of the top guys and they aren't necessarily getting sponsored like the top guys or not getting paid like the top guys so this kind of shows that it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be the best rider in the world to be sponsored although if you can do 1080s and you can do double flips this would help a ton to getting sponsored because being very good at what you do is very, very helpful. Some of the reasons why these athletes at this high of a level of the sport aren't getting sponsored is because maybe that nobody knows that they are that good or maybe they aren't putting videos out to where a lot of people can see or they're, maybe they're not winning contests to where people are seeing that they're doing really well. And if you are really, really good, you need to have a way to promote yourself and good ways could be things like social media, like Facebook or Instagram or getting on the magazine's websites like Alliance Wake Mag, Wakeboarding Mag, ShredTheCable.com. All these places can really help get your name out there and will help you get sponsored. And getting your videos and photos and, and things like that onto these websites or places you need, it's as simple as just sending them their way. These websites really need content to stay afloat and if you send them your content, it's likely that they will use it. If you're just trying to get sponsored for the first time, maybe trying to score some free swag or whatever, something that could be pretty helpful would be maybe go to your local board shop or find out how to connect with your local rep talk to them and talk to these people and and actually see what you can do for them so maybe that they can help you back if you do go up to a board shop or a rep and sort of tell them that you want to be sponsored or that you should be sponsored because oh i'm this good maybe that's not going to work out so well maybe try and connect with them and become friends with them maybe see if you can go to a boat show for them or or just really whatever you can do for them to help out because they do need you to be a positive return of investment. Sorry if this video is sort of all over the place, but earlier I was talking about how there are kids out there that can do 1080s, back nines, double flips, or whatever. They're absolutely shredding. But one thing that does suck about this, or I guess it doesn't really suck, but there are kids all over the world that can do stuff like this. There's kids that can do 1080s in every single country that has wakeboarding in it. I mean, there are kids shredding everywhere and in order to be sponsored and do well, you need to be able to differentiate yourself from other riders. So something that really helps is just being different, you know? Like, think about guys like Shredtown. They, they started winching whenever nobody else was really doing that. They started hitting crazy different spots or doing really odd things on their wakeboard like stacking up pallets and riding across the top of them like dominoes. They did something different and they put their name on the map. I mean, if you look at other riders, like Space Mob, they slam their stance as skinny as possible, cut the ends off their boards, ride really weird stuff on the water and just be different from everyone else. Someone else that's really good about this is like Graham. Graham is on Google Earth every single day, scoping out cool new spots and places that haven't been hit on their wakeboard 
yet so he can do stuff that's bigger and better than other people. These guys are really pushing it and trying to be different so they are getting noticed. Also, there are some riders that are being a bit different on the boat as well. Someone like Trevor Maurer, he does like that rocket air double grab back roll to blind and he also does a lot of cool things like fake outs wake to wake and no one else on the boat is really doing this so it does help him stand out. One thing that could help you get noticed is traveling. Travel to different cable parks all over the world, all over America, all over Germany, France. I mean, there are cable parks everywhere and you can go everywhere around the world and meet new people. This will help your name get out there, which in return could help you get sponsored. Another good tool to get your name out there is definitely social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. It's all very important because this can help you reach thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I know that my team manager is on Hyperlight's Instagram all the time, scrolling through the feed. And if you are posting banger clips on there and they do see things like this, it could be really, really helpful to getting sponsored. So I was saying earlier how important it is to be different and I have noticed lately that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of athletes on Instagram trying to put their content out there, trying to get it seen. And the whole Instagram market is kind of just flooded with people and it gets overseen really quick. One thing I did notice about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, was that David O'Queeve was sort of the only athlete on YouTube and he basically had the platform all to himself and he was generating tons and tons of views. I think this was very, very smart of him. I did sort of copy the idea of trying out YouTube as well. I wouldn't call myself being different, but the, the market isn't saturated with a ton of athletes yet and I generated over 4 million views this year in like 12 million minutes watched or something crazy like that. So I do think it would be a pretty good idea to try and tap into the YouTube market. Eventually it will get flooded. There are other other social platforms that are growing right now like TikTok. Nobody's really on that yet. But yeah, just trying to be different is very, very helpful. Since there are so many athletes out there at the moment, maybe team managers aren't necessarily going to approach you because there are so many for them to look through. It might even be a good idea for you guys to figure out their emails or something like that and try and connect with them and show them what you're all about. Send them the views you're getting, send them videos that you're making, just send them everything and show that you can promote their brand well and hopefully that they'll take notice and maybe try and get you on their team. There are multiple athletes on each team so it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and be really good friends with people on that team and they could actually suggest you to their team manager this would be an extremely helpful tip because i have seen people join hyperlite because they do rip one number two is they're friends with everyone on the team and we want them on the team so kind of just being friends is a very very helpful tool one last thing that would be really really important for getting sponsored would just be having an overall good attitude nobody really wants to see someone moping around all the time and being bummed on wakeboarding if you look at an athlete like Sean Murray. This guy has the best attitude in the industry. He's been with companies for like 20 years. This guy, everybody knows him around the world. Kids love him everywhere. He has multiple signature pro model wakeboards, life jackets, everything you could ever want. But yeah, this guy has a good attitude and I think it's really, really important to have a good attitude to succeed. Overall, at the end of the day, the most important thing would be that you need to be a positive return of investment. You need to be able to sell the product for the company that you ride for. And uh, if you can do this, then you'll definitely get sponsored. So yeah, I completely winged it on this video. And uh, yeah, that's how you get sponsored. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below on what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future, and make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.